So my name is Scott John Siegel. Uh, I work for a company called Platum in San Francisco and Mountain View, California. Uh, my talk today was on social game design, so specifically designing uh, games for social networks and designing successful games for social networks. The, the key point of my talk was that uh, what, what makes social games significant, what makes them really great is the fact that uh, they're, they're very easy to play, they're very easy to get into, but they're also really easy to get out of. So the way people use social networks is they, they log in, they check things, they communicate with their friends, post comments, and they leave again. And the trick is to design a game that can fit nicely into that space. So you want a game that players can play in sort of 15 minutes and ideally will play twice or even three times a day. Um, and if you can create a game that, that effectively fits within that space, uh, then you can create a game that, that integrates well with, with uh, Facebook as a social network. Well, the only way I know how to monetize users through a game is just to make a really incredible game that users will want to invest not just time but money in. Um, so a lot of our games have uh, items that users can purchase, uh, special outfits in sorority life, special guns and mobsters too. Um, and the users that really love these games, the users that have been playing these games for months on end, uh, will, will feel engaged enough to really want to invest that, that extra step. The great um, thing about social games is it's really easy to put a game out there. It's really easy to update. But the, the, the troubling, the, uh, the, the challenging thing about these games is uh, uh, being able to release new content, constantly needing to stay ahead of the curve in terms of what users expect. So when you release a game on Facebook, you don't w simply walk away. You need to engage with the users. You need to release new content. Uh, you need to be aware of, of how actively your players are playing and, and what they're going to expect. Because if it's a game that users expect new content in, that's not a bad problem to have. That means your users want to play more. And, and the best thing you can do is, is fulfill that experience for your players. I call my, my talk uh, long tail game design, but it's actually not about the, the long tail business model. Uh, instead, what I sort of focus on is the fact that uh, traditional games try to engage users very highly. They try and get you know, three hours of gameplay out of a user in a single session. Uh, the average uh, a console game, uh, the average hardcore game has players playing an average of 80 minutes per session, whereas casual games are at 30 minutes. Um, and what really works on, on social networks is to engage half that. It's to be a 15 minute session. And the trick is then not to have a game that has you know, 80 hours of gameplay that a player blasts through in heavy sessions for a couple of weeks, but to have a game that players play very lightly for months and months at a time. And that's sort of what I see as the long tail. It's, it's short session length and, and sort of prolonged uh, uh, lifespan of a player. Sure. So uh, there's this really great game on Facebook called Bejeweled Blitz, uh, and Bejeweled Blitz is uh, an adaptation of the Bejeweled game, uh, the popular casual game, uh, but it's a one minute round of gameplay. And what you're doing is you're trying to rack up as many points as possible in, in one minute. Uh, and you're competing against your friends in this sort of weekly leaderboard that, that resets every Tuesday morning. Um, and so the trick is you, you want to get the highest score possible uh, and then you, you try and hit the top of the leaderboard and then you do and you feel great and the next day you get a message saying your friend Jim just beat your high score. So then you're like, well I need to go back in and you try and you try and you can't beat his score and you maybe go away for a bit because you're burnt out and then you come back and the game just is constantly incentivizing users to come back in to play these you know, very short one minute rounds, maybe play 15 of them in a row um, to, to try and get the best score that week. Um, it's incredibly addictive. I'm, I'm incredibly addicted, so it, it's, it must be working. Okay. The social element is, is incredibly important to social games. Um, you, you have a platform which emphasizes, above all else, your ability to communicate and interact with your friends. And so the, the only thing that's more significant than uh, interacting with my friends is playing with my friends. Uh, and, and that ends up being such a strong motivator for gameplay uh, that the more we capitalize on that, the more we make uh, allow users to make significant decisions uh, that, that affect their gameplay and their friends' gameplay, uh, I, I think the more we engage users.